Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you how to edit gaming montages in HitFilm Full Express, which I know is pretty specific, but hang on. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is import your media. I'm not going to go through this because this is pretty basic. All you need to do is click this import button or drag your media in. Next, you want to select your game footage. So, here's some game footage. I just got it off the internet. And, as you can see, uh, it's got an intro and all that sort of stuff that I don't want in it. And, not only does it have an intro and all of that other stuff I don't want, but also, it's got a whole ton of gameplay and there's only one or two really interesting bits that I want to include. So, how do I make sure that only part of this goes into my montage instead of the whole gaming like gameplay recording well this is using in and out points so in this trimmer here we can select a clip and we can scrub through it or play it back like so this way we can preview the clip before it actually goes into our editing timeline here I want to select the bit that happens just right after this and I want to put that bit into my montage so if it starts here, I need to set what's called an endpoint. To do this, just press this button right here, or press I on your keyboard to set an endpoint. And now when you import your footage into the timeline, it will only start it from this point. Now let's play until I want my out point, or where I want it to finish. Alright, so that's where I want to finish, right with the Batman wheel. So, let's press this button now, or press O on your keyboard, and it'll set an out point. Now all we have to do is press overlay clip or insert clip, which uh, both pretty much just put them in your timeline, I won't go into the differences right now, but just press one of those and it will import that section into your timeline. If you drag the whole thing, then it will drag the whole 7 minutes, 46 seconds, or however long your video is, into the timeline. So now it plays back pretty nice. We can see a bit in the timeline, and it looks pretty epic. But we can't just start a montage with all our clips. First of all, we need an intro. So I've got my intro, which I created in a different program called Blender, although we won't cover that in this video. I'm just going to drag this in because I don't need to set in and out points for that. That's great also, but now I want a sort of title to introduce my gaming montage. So I've got this composite shot called Title Text. And if I drag it onto my video, I can see that it's got text, um, which shows that it's a gaming montage by Shiny Films, and also that is called How to Make a Gaming Montage in Hit Film Full Express. And I'm going to stop it right here. But how do we create this text? Well, text can only be created in a composite shot, which is where we do all of our visual effects. So to create a composite shot, press New, Composite Shot, and leave all the settings as they were. Then you'll come into a composite shot, like this one. All you need to do to create text is press New Layer, Text, and set it to the size of your video. Then just click on this little icon here and you can type in your text. If you go into your text controls panel here, then you can change your font, your size, just as long as you select it. I've got a whole video on text, but we won't go into it in depth in this video. Now I'm just going to add some more gameplays, although these are just images, and I'm going to drag them into our video. Alright guys, so now we're going to talk a bit about cutting your video and separating certain parts of your video. So as we can see in this little clip here, Batman picks up this guy and he does a pretty epic move. Okay, so what we want to do is say apply a certain effect to just this part of the video where 
he pretty much tosses him onto the ground. Let's just cut the video right here. But how do we cut the video? If we just zoom in here, and uh, we can look at now at the left of the timeline. We've got a bunch of tools. We've got the normal selection tool, which is our default tool, and we've also got the slice tool down here. So just click on it, and press on your video to slice it. And now we can move this part of the video independently of one another, and apply different effects to it. I'm also going to go towards the end of the... Uh, well, right here, and I'm going to cut it once again. So what can we do with this video? We can do a ton of things. So for example, I'm going to apply a brightness and contrast effect right onto this video. And as we can see, we can change the brightness and the contrast of this video to make it look more epic, or something like that. That's a pretty bad example, but you get what I mean anyway. Now we're going to talk about speed. So say we want to do this thing in slow motion. How would that work? How would we do that? Well, first of all we're going to move this clip off to the top layer so that it doesn't interfere with this video when we change its speed. And now we're going to change its speed. So the easiest way to do that is to say use the ray stretch tool right here. And with the ray stretch tool we can just drag the video out and instead of extending the video it will literally stretch it out so it becomes more slow-mo. So if I move this over here, then we can see it play back in slow motion. Alternatively, we can right-click on the video and select speed slash duration to get an exact speed such as 50%. I might even slow this down to 25%. Note that when you slow stuff down, unless you're filming in 60 frames per second, sometimes the slow motion can produce uh, jittery effects, like so, frame by frame. Now we're going to go and add music, because no gaming montage is complete without some background music. So I've got some background music here from NCS, No Copyright Sounds, and it's all great music. I highly recommend you check them out. But I'm just going to drag this music right on here after the intro because my intro has music. And we can change the volume of the music by going to controls, into the properties, and lowering it down. And that pretty much sums it up. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do to create a better looking gaming montage, but I won't cover everything in this video. This is just short and simple to give you a quick idea of what to do. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye.